The season is 2024-2025. The competition is the Cinch Premiership. And the destination is hopefully first place. Welcome back, guys, to the Hearts FIFA 23 Career Mode. It's episode 42. And today we will kick off our Cinch Premiership campaign. But before we can do that, we do have the matter of finishing off the Champions Trophy. Bad news is, as you can see in the last episode, we lost both our games. We can no longer win the Champions Trophy, which kind of sucks because I thought it was a competition that we could realistically win. And albeit it wouldn't count as a domestic trophy, it would still be nice to have won some form of silverware. To, to be exact, win our first piece of silverware, not only in this series, but in my entire time on YouTube. Now, it wasn't to be... We didn't win. However, I thought the two performances were really good. And it gives me a lot of confidence heading into the season. We played some players that particularly wouldn't really get a lot of game time. And they've impressed me. So going into the upcoming season, I think we've got lots of options. I will be trying to rotate my squad more than ever. Try and keep players fresh. Try and keep players sharp. Try and keep players happy. Because happy players normally means a happy team, and a happy team is a good team. So I'm hoping that we can continue the performance today, but only I want to walk away with some points. Preferably three. If we win our game, I believe we can finish as high as fifth, which would still be in the bottom half of the eight teams, but you know what? We'll take what we can get. There will also be a small matter of us potentially signing a player on loan. Now, we're going to have a quick look at him here. I have got him in the transfer hub. I haven't made an official offer, but he has wanted this. People want me to sign him, so you know what? And I, I do what the people want, so where is he? This guy here, Edward Michu. I believe that's how you pronounce his name. He currently plays for PSG. He's a center mid, but I believe you can push him into that CAM role, that cam role, which is kind of where we need. So I'm not sure if his rating. I have no idea. <laughs> I guess we could scout, but we won't know until we get... We actually don't have any scouts to scout. I'd need to recall one or hire one. I don't know if I want to do that. So what I was thinking is, I may actually... I might actually try and loan him to the club now. I believe... Oh, I can't loan him to the club. So the only way to bring him in is to buy him. So uh, I don't know. Did we sit down with him first? Do we sit down with PSG? You know what? We'll do that. We'll sit with PSG and we'll talk some money. Now, if they want too much money, then we're going to have to say no. However, I've decided if I do bring this guy in, I'm probably going to loan out either Pollock, Finley Pollock, or Connor Smith, or perhaps even both. Because they're both really young. And I believe if I loaned them out and they were getting regular game time, I think they could come back at really impressive ratings. So... Yeah, I do believe that if we bring this guy in, because we do have George Grant in that position as well, and we have other players that we can fill in there, like Boyce and Humphreys can play there. If I really want, Shanklin can play there. So that cam roll, even though we don't really have a play, I don't have one player at the moment that I think has nailed it down. Like, when I look at the cam roll, I don't see any, like, a, you know, there's no one, like, on the first team sheet that the, 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 the cam roll is kind of like the last position to be filled. So I'm kind of looking for someone to come in and take it. But we do have like seven, six, eight players that can play that role. So, you know, if we do bring this guy in, a few players will definitely go on loan. I've no idea what we should be offering for him. Honestly, I do not. I don't want, I mean, a uh, budget 6.7 million. Like, I don't want to insult PSG, but I have no idea what we should be offering. I'm going to say one, it's one million fail. He's 21. You know, I'll, oh God. Let's go. Let's go 1.5 million. That's half the amount that we played for, for Goo Song. And Goo Song was rated, what, 73? I have no idea what this guy's going to be rated. So let's submit that. I've got... It's PSG. They don't need the money. So realistically, you should, you should just... Oh, my God. They've wasted, you've wasted my time here. You've come nowhere near a serious offer. For, oh, look at that. He's pulled it. He's fucking pulled it. I wish his dad had a pulled it, for God's sake. But, yeah, he's kind of just left us in the dark, man. So, Edward Michut, we can, I guess we can try and sign him later on in the window if we really want to. But for now, it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Some other players here that we could potentially look at. Look at this guy, Ben Wayne, 69 overall, New Zealander. Yeah, we've got a lot of Australians. I wouldn't mind adding a New Zealander to the team, but 
You know, he, he looks he looks decent to be fair. At twenty three and sixteen and overall he looks alright, but I just believe we've got too, way too many attacking players. Julio Caesar in Cisco, seventy one overall, twenty years old from Paraguay. This guy looks like he could be a good player. Definitely maybe be interested in him. You got Woon Um Woon Sang. Maybe if we sign a maybe if we signed another South Korean player, then Gu Sung would be happy. I don't know if that's the case or not. We've got uh, Leon King, who I was looking at. I just don't think it's a realistic option. I don't know if they would let him come to us. We've got Luis Florini, who is a very good player, twenty two years old, seventy overall. Is someone that I've been keeping an eye on, but his wages would absolutely cripple us, and there's no way he would, you know, take a pay cut. And then there's all these guys that I have looked at. Jacob Brown, I've looked at especially for the Scottish connection. I mean, he can play multiple positions. He can even play right wing back. So, I mean, Jacob Brown might be an option. He's got good jumping, really good stamina. But I, I wanted to try and get that Me Too guy in. So, for now, we will leave it. This Romero dude as well looks really good. He's a free agent. right? He can play right wing. He can play cam. I am kind of looking for a cam. Uh, I think this guy, plus, like I said, free agent, you don't have to pay any money to a club. So, I mean, this could be the guy right here. That, that could be too good an offer, you know, not to um, to try and get him. I mean, striker, cam, right wing, uh, he can kind of play it all and his stats are good. So who knows? Maybe I will try and sign him as well. But before we sign any players, I want to finish our last game of the Champions Trophy and I want to go on a high. So hopefully we can win it. All right, so this is how we're going to line up then for our last game of the Champions Trophy. We're going with Clark in next. We're giving a start to Dave McKay. It will be his first ever appearance for Hart. So fair play to him, 18-year-old. Hopefully he does well. We've got Rolls and Haring playing this the two centre-backs. Haring will be standing captain for today. Atkinson on the right. We've got Devlin, Benenjami in the middle. Connor Smith in front of them. And I'm going for a front three of McKay, Shankland and Girelli. Let's see if we can get our first win. Oh, great save for Sander Clark, and we should not have we should not have put him under that pressure, that situation, man. It was horrible defending, but perhaps we can get on the counter here. Shankland to Connor Smith. Smith then drills a pass out to Ginelli. It's a bit over hit, but Ginelli will keep it in, just about. Ginelli still with the ball, left foot crosses it in. Shankland was going for it. It's going to fall for Barry McKay. It is Benenjami outside the foot shot, and it's a save by the goalkeeper, Bissett. Shite! Oh, another great save for Sander Clark. Might have been shite defending for me, but Sander Clark certainly wasn't shite. He made the save. It's going to be a corner, though. We need to take care of it. Benenja, mate. He does. Kai Rolls kind of loses it, grabs it back, and now Kai Rolls going to look for Ginelli. And I tell you what, what a ball that is. What a ball that is. Ginelli brings it down great on the chest. It's Josh Ginelli. He's going to try and score, and he does. What a goal from one side of the pitch. To the other man. That is fantastic. Great ball up for Kai Rolls. Ginelli with the pace, with the first touch, with the finish. Everything about Josh Ginelli was great there. And the Hearts fans start celebrating. And I don't blame them. It's a great goal. We haven't started the game well, but we are in front. So I'll take that. It's 1-0. Ginelli gets past his man again. Josh Ginelli, good ball in. It's cleared away though. At the near post, it's going to be Connor Smith. He turns around and he cracks it on the volley. But again, it's saved by the goalkeeper. Good play for us, but it didn't lead to a second goal. Devlin finds Smith. Connor Smith. Oh, he should score. He'd love that one back. Surely he must score that. What a chance for the wee man. And he's hit it right at the goalkeeper. Barry McKay, delivery in. It's decent. Smith can't get to it. And Atkinson can, though. He brings it down. Plays it to Benenjami. Benenjami looking for Haring. It's going to be Peter Haring then. We'll play it out wide. It's not a great ball for Haring, in fact. It's nowhere near the intended target of Barry McKay. And it's a chance gone. Kai Rolzo slides in. What a tackle that is. Brilliant stuff for the defender. And he stops any potential counter-attack on its tracks. Right, here we go. It's it's Magneti with a ball forward. Oh, he gets Oh, no. It's a good ball, actually. Oh, but it's another good tackle. Our tackles have been pinpointing this game. For once, we've turned up defensively, and you can see we're managing to hold them to a clean sheet at the moment. We're denying them any sort of real opportunities in this game. We did the first couple of minutes, but Sander Clark bailed us out since then. We've been absolutely solid, so hopefully that may continue. Ball in out. Come on, Atkinson. Oh, we slid in there. This could be... Come on, Haring. Great tackle for Haring. And now we could try and lead a counter-attack again. 
Let's go. It's Cammy Devlin. Devlin to Shanklin. Shanklin will play it back to Cammy Devlin. And now Devlin's looking for the run. And oh, he's played a great ball into Barry McKay. Can Barry McKay do it? He can. He puts it in at the near post. The goalkeeper takes him out. It won't be a penalty though. What it will be is a second goal. Hearts double their lead. And it's that man right there. It is Barry McKay. It's a great strike. It's a great goal. You love to see it. And he celebrates doing in the corner, what a ball though for Cammy Devlin, does it get much better than that, I don't think so, great strike from Barry Mackay, and that is Hearts now with a 2-0 lead, so we are 2-0 up at the break, they had two shots early on, both were saved by Sander Clark, and since then we have completely taken over, so so far so good, but it is half time, and you know what, I think I'm just going to go and make seven substitutions at the half well we'll make six i don't like substituting the goalkeeper so yeah we're going to just make six substitutions we'll bring on dylan reed we'll go we'll bring on cochrane for you know what he's, he's had an okay debut but i'm going to bring on cochrane uh we will play humphreys out on the right we're going to play henderson doing on the left and it's going to be Goosong through the middle and we will take off rules for nielsen so there you go making a lot of changes and hopefully we can see what this game. I want to keep a clean sheet. And if we can add more goals, then I won't say no. Oh, and that's a shite goal they concede, man. Literally just started the second half. Nobody near him. We've defended so well. Up, literally up until that. That is just, look at it. It's a pass. I mean, it's literally two passes from their halfway line. And then it's a goal. I don't want to blame Lewis Nielsen here. But he is literally nowhere near him, and we just brought him on. Maybe that's the problem. You make too many changes, you... Ah, uh, you change it. Look at the spin on that ball. Jesus Christ, my head's spinning after that. But, I mean, come on, maybe, maybe I made a mistake there. I wanted to freshen things up, though, so... So be it. And it's not... We don't have to win this game, but it was nice being in control there, and all of a sudden, it feels like control is slipping, because our lead has been cut in half. Oh, well, we've been fouled in the box. Sander Clark makes the save. But how the fuck is that? No, a free kick, man. We've been absolutely taken out. Not for dinner. Just taken out as in an almost murdered way. Attempted murder. And he's not gave, he's not gave the free kick, man. That, that's a horrendous decision for the referee. Let's see the replay here again then. So we've got number 29. He's looking for the pass. Look at 16. Look at what 16 does to Lewis Nielsen here. Look at that. He just completely pushes him in the box. That is fucking unreal. And then because he's pushed him, Nielsen's playing him on side. That's a fucking joke. Where the hell did this referee get his license, man? Get that thing refoked and get him sent to prison. That is a joke of a refereeing decision. Completely pushes Nielsen and almost scored a goal for it. Almost got rewarded for a foul. Uh, Shite. And that's it. That is literally it, man. 17 minutes into the second half. It's that guy again. And our performance levels have just dropped off. We went, we've been really good in the first half to unable to create anything in the second half. Can I put it all down to changing up the team at half time? I don't know, maybe. Maybe we've got complacent. I don't know what we've got, but I tell you what, it's not good enough. I think we've got a, a dose of being absolute dog shit. That's what we've got. And we need to improve or else we're probably going to end up losing this game. Right, Connor Smith takes it. Let's go. Connor Smith looking for. Oh, it's a, I don't, who's he looking for? Who the fuck is he looking for, right? Haring picks it up. Haring playing it up to Goon Song Song. Horrible touch. Then gets pushed off the ball, but Smith got it and then he lost it. I wasn't expecting that there. Smith just in the box. No, we, they had the ball and then the next minute they pass it straight to Smith and Smith's just standing there not expecting the pass. So not a lot we could have done there. Now they're coming forward again. Haring sliding in. Doesn't get anything on it and it's through and it's, it's in the back of the net. We have completely fallen apart here. We were 2-0 up at half time and Stad de Brest. And I think that's a hat trick for him. Don't know who he is. Get the fuck out my face though, mate. You're lucky I can't jump through this TV screen. I'd bar you. Like we barred you in the first half. Look at that guy jumping up on those seats. Get him escorted out the arena, man. That's no right. Stadium looks like it's a, it's a park de Prance, I think. And he's jumping up and down on the seats. Trying to wreck the place. What the hell? Putting us off. Del Castillo. And, and we have been absolutely nothing short of dreadful. In this second half, man, it pains me to say it, but this is probably the worst half of football I think we've had. Right, Cochrane. Goonsong. 
What is Goon Song doing? Oh, he can't even get the rebound, man. What's he doing? The follow-up he can't get. Ball played up to Goon Song this time, right? Come on, do something, man. Step overs. Finds Dylan Reed. Dylan Reed. He's trying to find Nathaniel Atkinson. Poor. Very poor. And he's got away for us here. Atkinson slides in. And we won the ball, but the referee says we didn't. Very strange, right? Haring gets it back. And Haring lose. Oh, my Christ. What are we doing, man? Why are we? Why have we got so bad? Nielsen's coming across. Oh my God! Nielsen's been sent. Oh my God! Cochrane's been done in as well. Oh, that nah, should be a goal. And it was some of the worst defending you'll ever see. Not just from Maroon players, but any player, man. That was bad. I'm, I'm glad we got away with it because we didn't deserve to, but we did, right? Henderson to Goo Song Song, going to spin around and find Dylan. Re well, he's not because he's he's absolute dog shit. That's why he's not. Can't pass a simple ball, man. What is wrong with the guy? Seriously, right, Haring, get that. Dylan Reed again. Reed to corner, Smith, Smith to Goosong, right, come on! Need to see more for you, Henderson. Henderson. Devlin. Song. Songs. Song spins around! Oh, it's a good save! Devlin can't get the header on that. Can Henderson get the header on it? No, he can't. And it looks like it's going to get away for us. We're not going to do anything. Humphreys tries to... Get the ball, he tries to put in a tackle, but didn't quite make it, and now we are under attack again. Six minutes to go. Time is definitely running out here. We need to get the ball. Oh, brilliant tackle. What a tackle. And now we're on the counter-attack. Come on, good song. Run for it. What's that? Connor Smith, and I know you don't really play that many games, mate, but I don't think you'll ever play again if you if you pass like that. That was bad, right? Haring forward to Humphreys. We are running out of time if we want to rescue something that's Goonsong, he finds Connor Smith. 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 Oh, it's fucking dog meat, man. It's no dog meat, it's dog shite. That's even worse than dog meat. Ball launched up again. A minute to go. It's, that's offside, it has to be offside. It's well offside. Sander Clark makes the save, but apparently it wasn't offside, right? How much time is he going to add here? How much time is going to be added? Two minutes. Two minutes to do something here. Henry Humphreys to Gun Song. It's Devlin. Devlin through to Henderson. Oh no! Connor Smith needs to get that. He hasn't got it. And we are going to finish our Champions Trophy campaign in a familiar defeat. Three games in the Champions Trophy, three losses. And that second half is easily the worst. We had one shot the entire second half, man. What happened? What happened in that second half? I don't know. I honestly don't know. I, I just want to forget that second half even existed because that was bad. That was really bad. I can't eat. That was East Stirlingshire bad. That was... God, if we play like that this season, we, we'll finish 12th. There's no doubt about it. So that is our Champions Trophy over on Dunway. Not quite sure where we finished. I'm not even sure if we can check. Well, we can check. So Champions Trophy... We finished in 7th, so even though we lost every game, we finished ahead of Troy's. Uh, had we won, we would have uh, finished in 6th above Cologne. So, you know what? I'll take that. It's it got, some, it got players some fitness. That was the main point of doing it. Win, lose, or draw. It was all about getting some pre-season games in. So, you know what? We didn't get the results we wanted. But as long as we get the results that we want when the Singe Premiership comes around, guys, that is all that I care about right now. And it is time for your main event. It is time, guys, for the Cinch Premiership. I wouldn't really consider traveling to Dingwall to take on Ross County a main event, but God damn it, it's our main event. Let's make sure we do things right this season, and doing things right is getting off to a good start. That's crucial. We played okay in the opening uh, Cinch tra Championship trophy or whatever that crap tournament was in France. I've forgotten about it already. But yeah, we need to do even better here. We need to take on Ross County. We need to send out a message that we are going to be one of the top teams this season. We're going to go into the press conference. We're going to answer the hard-hitting questions. And I'm going to talk up our objectives and uh, expectations for this season because I am excited. I am optimistic. So let's go. Can you bring European football to the club? Um, of course. This is an excellent squad. I'm very confident this club should 100% be aiming to qualify for Europe this season. There you go. Can't ask for much more than that. We've came out and basically just said we will be in Europe. 
What are you expecting from the Ross County game? Let me see. I want. I believe my, the boys know what they have to do. I want a good performance. Of course I do. We have to. We have to put in a good performance. If we don't put in a good performance, then we're shit. Will you sign anyone before the deadline? Uh, I'll sign players who are right for us. There you go. That's, it's as simple as that. I'm not saying we need players. I'm not saying we won't sign players. I'm saying if I can get the right player at the right deal, then we'll bring them in. And who knows, maybe a couple of players will leave too. So there you go. I think that went pretty well. I'm happy with how that went. I thought it was pretty good. So yeah. Here we go then. There's the players getting led out by the club captain, Craig Halkett. He will resume... Uh, or oh, not resume, but I guess he was the face captain. He's been promoted. Look at big Craig here, getting a promotion. He takes over from the fellow Craig, his other Craig, his former teammate, Craig Gordon. So, yeah, we, we hand the captain's armband from one Craig to another. And this is how Ross County will line up on the opening day. They're going with Gungordu in Nets, Porrington, Deng, Ivacotti, and Randall at the back. It's going to be Callaghan, the former Hearts man, alongside Tilson in midfield. Uh, their midfield three is Sims, Danda, and Akio. And they've got White up front. Danda is could be on the move, apparently. He looks pretty good in this game, and I think that Ross County will struggle to hold on to him. We were actually recommended to sign Danda. Um, it's not really the kind of player I want to bring into the club, but yeah, he, he is a good player, and I think he's above Ross County. Anyway, we're going with Clark, Cochrane, Kingsley, Halkett, Atkinson. I think that's our, our strongest back five. I say I think, I know it is. In midfield, we're going with Devlin, Benenjami, and Grant. Grant, at the moment, is going to be our number one cam, but again, it could easily be changed. And up front, we're going with what I believe to be our strongest front three as well. Mackay, Ginelli, and Shanklin. So this is it, lads. Let's go. Let's get off to a good start. Let's get off to a win. And let's prove that this will be our season. So Barry Mackay gets a cross in. It's been challenged. It's been flicked on. But Ginelli couldn't go on the end there. Chance there for us in the opening few minutes. But not able to take. That's a handball, surely. He's handled that. Are we playing football or basketball here? Come on, referee. Clear handball, not given. Atkinson should get on that. He does. He plays it back to Sander Clark, who will just probably look to launch. Oh, no! Oh, no! No, don't get that! Get that! Get that! Get that! Oh, my God! Jesus! No, we've played it straight to him. Get this, please. Brilliant tackle for Craig Halkett. Just when you thought we were about to concede the worst own goal of all time, Craig Halkett and the, the, the defense. Wow. Speechless. That was unbelievable. How we got away with that twice. Fucking twice. There's Danda. Good tackle again. This time by Ginelli. Ginelli to Barry Mackay. Maybe we can launch a counter here. It's Ginelli. He's got the pace. And he's going to keep on going. We should be 1-0 down. But Josh Ginelli could maybe put his 1-0 up here. Can Josh Ginelli cut and Oh, he can. It's Josh Ginelli. He strikes it. It's saved by the goalkeeper. He cracks his face off the post. And we have an injury to Danda. It's all going down here in the opening game of the Sins Premiership. Call an ambulance. Call the FBI. How the hell did that not go in? We've got a goal inquiry here. And Danda's down and out. And it doesn't look like he is going to be able to finish this game. It's a good tackle for Ginelli. But oh, he lands face first on the grass, man. Oh, and he rolls over onto his, oh, his wrist. His poor wee wrist is done. Dusted. His wrist has given up on him. And we're not even 13 minutes into this game. And they're making a substitute already. Ross County. Dropping like flies, but can we get this ball in the back of the net? It's going to be Stephen Kingsley to Ginelli. Oh no, head of the way, Grant. Come on, Grant. It's George Grant. George Grant strikes in. It's another block. Ginelli slides in. Ross County will get it away. I believe so anyway. Oh, we're sliding the game. We've not got to it. And it's Sims. Sims now to White. White spins around. He's going to look for Akio. He finds Akio. He finds Akio. And Ross County now looking the dangerous side. Oh no! That's Sander Clark! Sander Clark's the man! Great save! He's the new number one at Hearts and he's proven it there. What a back and forth game this is, man. If this is what the season's going to be like, I cannot wait. Come on, Sander Clark. You should get to that. You should get to that. You should get to that. He doesn't get to it. Kingsley gets to it instead. And now Stephen Kingsley's going to try and play his way out. And he, he wins a free kick. So, you know what? That wasn't too bad. Right, here we go. It's Kingsley again. Up towards Ginelli. Uh, no, it's Barry McKay even. Ginelli's running on the wing. Oh, and that's a great ball. It must be. It's Josh Ginelli. And it's 1 0 Hearts. We've done it. 18 minutes in. Josh Ginelli. He was a top goal scorer last season. And he kicks off the goal scoring again this season. He puts it past the goalkeeper. 
What an opening 18 minutes in this game, but it's Hearts that take the lead in Dingwall. Ross County can't believe it. The Hearts fans are jumping like crazy. They cannot believe that we've got off to the perfect start. You know, perfect start. We're 1-0 up. We saved two goals that looked unsavable, and we've also injured a Ross County player. Does it get any better than that? I don't think so. It's Hearts 1. It's Josh Girelli 1. It's Ross County now. Devlin to Mackay. Mackay then finds Grant. George Grant to Benenjami. Benenjami will play it to Ginelli. Ginelli. Ginelli out wide. It's, oh, it's cleared away, but it won't go that far. It's only as far as Barry Mackay, who's kept this in. Barry Mackay, left foot at cross in. Shankly heads it towards goal. Oh, and it's saved by the goalkeeper. And we've got another Ross, player, <laughs> Ross County player down. Is he okay? I don't really care. Shankland then picks it up. Shankland. Looking for Ginelli. It's Ginelli into Benenjami. Benenjami will spin around and he'll look maybe for Shankland. He's going on his own here. It's Benenjami. He strikes. Oh, he puts it in the back of the net. Half an hour gone. And it's Benny Benenjami. Doubling the hearts lead. Benenjami and Grant have a big game man hug. But I'll allow it just this once. It is 2-0 hearts. We are running away with it here in Dingwall. Ross County have been hit by a train. And that includes the two players that they've got down injured. What a strike for Benenjami. It is Hearts 2. It is Ross County nil, And it's exactly the way we wanted to start our season. It looks like it's swerving away for goal. But then it manages to curl in at the end. And Robbie Nielsen, he's absolutely delighted. So am I. 2-0. Great challenge for Devlin. And we're on the attack again. We've got Ginelli running through. We've found Ginelli. Ginelli's going to try and play it. Oh, Ginelli, son. You waited too long. Had to be first time. Oh, shit. We could be in a bit of trouble here. Oh, we're not in any trouble. Stephen Kingsley. What a man. Great defending there for him. And now again, we're going to try and play Josh Ginelli, who I think's offside. The linesman confirms what I thought. And he puts up his flag. Ball it to Ginelli again. Ginelli will get to it. It's Josh Ginelli looking good, and he's hit the side net and should have probably had crossed it in there. It's half time, we're winning, Hibs are losing, everything is going great. We've been phenomenal. First 10 minutes, first 15 minutes, it was an even game. Since then, though, we've taken over, we've controlled it, we've dominated it. But let's be honest, last time we were 2-0 up in the Champions Trophy, and we let that fall. We lost 3-2. Let's not do it again. Ball up to Shankland, ball up to Shankland, can he find the cross into the middle, he can't, Benenjami though might get to it, it's Shankland again, he strikes at Finnear, he gets it again, Benenjami and he drills it past the goalkeeper, I don't think it's going to count though, no, offside apparently, would have been nice to have taken a free goal lead, but nah, Benenjami just offside I would imagine, couldn't have been much in it, and oh my god, that's very close, I mean referee, are you sure? Looked onside to me. Shankland to Barry Mackay. Mackay. Still Barry Mackay. Now it's George Grant and he's lost it as well. But Benjamin's here. Benjamin will be first to pick up. It's Atkinson. Atkinson now looking for options. He finds Cammy Deed. Cammy Devlin finds Grant. Grant out towards Ginelli. Ginelli then coming inside. Still Josh Ginelli looking for... He finds Benjamin. It's Benjamin to Shankland. And Shankland's tried to spin around, trying to be too cute. He gets it back with a slight tackle. And it is 3-0 to Hearts. And no, it's offside again. God damn it, man. What's this linesman then? Must hate us. Must be a Hibs fan. Well, Shankland, he looked on to me. Oh, come on. It's, what? How the fuck is that offside? What's the referee doing? Unbelievable. I can't believe that. That looked on to me. I can't believe the referee's given that offside. Definitely not. George Grant. Grant to Shanklin. Shanklin's still trying to get his first goal today. It's Grant. It's Devlin. Devlin! Oh, it's another great save by the goalkeeper. I mean, Ross County are under pressure here big time, but they're trying to keep themselves in this game. Kingsley with the corner. Shanklin's there. He tries to head at the goalkeeper, though. Gallows it and collects it with both hands. And finally, Ross County can breathe a little. Oh, brilliant, that's brilliant. We've stepped in, we've won it, and now it is Lauren Shankland. It's Lauren Shankland! Oh, and this shot is wide. Shankland now trying everything to score, but it's just not happening. 
Here we go then, some substitutes are being made. We're taking off Benenjami and we're bringing on, uh, I believe, Toby Sibic in place of him. So, but Humphrey's coming on as well, as well as our South Korean superstar, Gu Sung. But he's not been a superstar so far, so hopefully he can start here today. Could you imagine that? He gets a goal to start the season. Maybe that would help his confidence. He needs it. He needs some sort of confidence booster because at the moment it's running pretty low. Atkinson then finds Gu Sung. Sung back to Atkinson. Oh, and this is looking promising. We've got Ginelli in the middle. Oh, Josh Ginelli slides in, but it's too near the goalkeeper and he can't get to it. Now it's Galligan, the former Hearts man. This is a dangerous ball, actually. He's played it to Sims. It's played behind him, though. It's a poor touch for Sims. Great challenge for Hal. And the referee's... I can't believe the referee's going to penalise Halke here for a tackle. That was a great tackle. And somehow the referee deemed that a foul, man. Unbelievable. Ball into the box. Head of the way. It's Sibic. Toby Sibic now. Charging. He's charging forward. He's got Ginelli, but Ginelli stops the run for some reason. Sibic will play through Alex Cochrane. Cochrane here. He's got no one in front of him. What can Cochrane do? He's cut inside. He's found Sibic. Sibic to George Grant. George Grant trying to find Sibic again. It's took a bounce in the box and it's cleared away by Ross County. Only as far as Cammy Devlin. Cochrane to Humphreys. Humphreys trying to play it through and somehow that's been kept in. Honestly, I don't know how that's been kept in, but it has. Humphreys old tracks back. Great defending from the striker. And again, we are in control of the ball and control of possession. We we'll played that out there and that's not great though. We could be in a bit of trouble. We're in a... Yeah, we are in trouble here, Ross County. Oh, no! No! It's for... Oh, Sander Clark, great save! Sander Clark keeps the clean sheet alive and he keeps the two-goal lead intact. Oh, no! They're pressing here, Ross County looking dangerous. Oh, and it's a great tackle again! And this time they've got the ball. Devlin gets it right. Let's get rid of this. Do something, man. We need to get out of the box. We need to get our own half here. Let's see what we can do. And he's offside. He is offside. And now we've played it and Ginelli's nowhere near. That's nowhere near him. Nowhere near him. And here we go. Our final two substitutions. Alan Forrest and Connor Smith coming on. Let's see if we can see this game out with the clean sheet and grab a really important win. Come on, Smith. Looking for Forrest. Forrest will keep it in. It's not the greatest touch, but it's got my chance. He's going to try and find Goon Song. It's back post. Goon Song! Ah! And he's topped off a great win. And he, he, honest, to be honest, he couldn't really miss for there. But Goon Song finally scores a goal. I can't remember the last time he scored. But it's a goal. It's not an important goal. We would have won that game without it. But regardless, could be an important goal for his confidence. And what a way to start the season. Ball in. I think it's Stephen Humphreys with the header at the back post. Heads straight into the path of Goosong. And he buries it from six yards out. What a result. What a performance, guys. Goosong celebrates that one. He's loving life. And that is it, guys. We've done it. We have won the opening game of the season in Dingwall at Ross County. And we've won it by three goals to nil. Great performance from everybody on the pitch. Even Sander Clark was forced into a couple of really... Good saves, and he stood up, he stood strong, and he made sure he was counted. But count this, one, two, three. Three goals, three points, and it's a great way to start our league campaign, man. Absolutely buzzing. Completely dominated the game from about 15 minutes onwards. Ross County had one really good chance to bring it back, but Sander Clark pulled off a super Sander Clark save, and he denied them. Hibernian lost their opening game at Easter Road. You love to see it, man. Great start to the season all round. And surely, with that, we must be top. We have to be top of the Cinch Premiership. We will check it, and actually, we're not. That's not going to burst my bubble or anything, but I thought a 3-0 win would have been enough to put us top. But apparently, it wasn't. So there were some big results on the opening day. Uh, Rangers won 2-0 away against St. Johnston. Celtic had a big 3-0 win at Tanadice, but it's Aberdeen top of the table. Jim Goodwin's Aberdeen, they beat St Mirren 4-0 in Paisley, so that's a massive win for them. Kelly drew with Livingston. Obviously, we've seen that Hibs lost to Mullerwell, and we all know that we picked up a massive win, 3-0 against Ross County. So that's how the start of the season went, guys. Hopefully, we can continue that on. I want to continue that result. I want to continue that performance. Next time out, we will be taking on Dundee United. They lost their opening game. 3-0 to Celtic, so who knows? Maybe they can lose 3-0 again to us. 
Why not? I would take repeat score lines. They lost 3 0. We won 3 0. Just give us another 3 0 against Dundee United. And of course, after that, we will be playing St. Johnston. We'll be playing Mullerwell also. And then we'll be back in the next episodes for our first real test of the season, in my opinion. We will be travelling to Ibrox, we will be taking on Rangers, and I would love, and I mean absolutely love, to be going into that game with 12 points. I know it's early days, I know we'd have to win three games in the next episode to get to that stage, but the way we played against Ross County, why not? Why fucking not? Anyway guys, that will do it. I'll catch you in the next one. Absolutely buzzing. I'm telling you, this is our season, I can feel it, I can feel it in my bones, man. Every player was great. Even Goo Song, he didn't do anything, but he, he scored with his only touch. You, you can't really knock that, you know what? So we'll give him a pass mark. Hopefully that one goal, though, can lead to many. And I can't wait, guys, till the next episode. So please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't. I will see you next time. And, of course, until then, peace.